Today, the 11th of Elul 5780, is the 70th anniversary of the completion of the major phase of Operation Magic Carpet, the airlift of Yemenite Jews from Yemen to the land of Israel. If you think about it, that was completed in 1950, just two years after the foundation of the State of Israel, 45,000 Yemenite Jews were brought from danger and squalor to the transitional camps in the state of Israel. The living conditions weren't fantastic, but those thousands of Jews were now safe in their own homeland. It was also known as Operation al Kanfei Nisharim, on the wings of eagles, based on the verse from the book of Exodus, just before Aseret Hadibrot, just before the revelation at Mount Sinai, where the Israelites are reminded that God brought them out of Egypt, al kanfei nisharim, on the wings of eagles. What does that phrase mean, on the wings of eagles? Well, eagles are strong, eagles are fast. But one of the classical commentaries on the book of Exodus points out that eagles also fly the highest of any bird. And the Midrash imagines that eagles carry their young on their back. And because they fly the highest, their young, vulnerable as they may be, can't be attacked from above. The parent eagle can always see the danger coming. In this month of Elul, as we look deeper and deeper into ourselves as we take an accounting of ourselves, see where we could do better and how we could make amends with those we may have injured in some way. That phrase, al kanfei nisharim, on the wings of eagles, and that rabbinic image of flying high above any threats or dangers so that we can keep those who are most important to us, who are closest to us, as safe as we can, takes on special and very relevant meaning. As we move into these high holidays, we should keep in mind that each of us has the potential to be kanfei nisharim, the wings of eagles that elevate not only ourselves, but those around us as well.